Hi everyone, Eva here. It's Sleep Tip Tuesday, so I figured in honor of today, we can talk all about sleep and traveling. Considering the holiday season is just around the corner and many of you are probably going and visiting family out of town or going on a nice warm vacation in the, in the south. And so this is a very common question I get this time of year. How do I ensure that my child sleeps the best that he possibly can while we travel? So um, a very important factor that determines the answer to your question will really come down to your child's temperament, which is something that he, and she, he or she was born with. Um, part of a child's temperament determines how adaptable they are. And some kids are very easygoing and very adaptable to new environments. They take a few minutes to make sure that they're safe and secure, and then they're just fine. And so chances are, if you have a very easygoing child, you probably don't have too much to worry about. However, if you have a child who you know is not so adaptable, who is very slow to warm, who did take quite a bit of time to adjust to daycare or to a new caregiver or to a new home when you moved, then you know there's a pretty good chance that your, your child will take a little bit of time to adjust to his new living environment when, when you're away, when you're traveling. Nonetheless, there is still much that you can do to encourage this process and to really encourage your child to uh, adapt to this new environment and to ensure the best quality sleep for everyone. So the biggest piece of advice I can give you is to bring as much of your child's nursery as you can with you when you're traveling. So I don't mean this literally. I don't mean to pack up your child's crib. I mean anything that your child sleeps with or somehow relates to sleep, try and bring that with you. So your child's favorite teddy bear or lovey or blanket or pacifier, you wanna bring all that with you. If your child sleeps with white noise or has some music playing in the background when he's falling asleep, bring that with you as well. If your child has a favorite storybook that he likes to read before going to sleep, pack the books up with you. Um, this is very, very important to really help your child feel like he's in a familiar environment and familiar surroundings by, by having all these familiar objects with you. What will also really help is to continue doing whatever bedtime routine that you typically do when you're at home. So if you, you know, read the same bedtime story and sing a few bedtime songs and have a few other rituals, make sure that you stick to that as much as you can so that everything remains familiar. And you know, hopefully with a bit of time and with a little bit of patience, your child will adapt and will hopefully be just fine. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday, and if you're traveling, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful trip. Have a great day.